Hey, you guys. Hello. It's Jamie. And Mandy. And Mandy. <laughs> And we are ready for the planner party. We hope we had technical difficulties first start. So hopefully this works. I usually wait and see if anybody showed. There's two. two. Yeah, good. We're doing good. All right. So hopefully our hey. internet Hey, connection. Helen. Hey, Helen. Good to see you. Hi, Meg. Hi, Meg. Yeah. Oh, okay. Helen says, hoping this works on my laptop. Sometimes comments get weird. Good to see Judith. Good to see Cindy. You guys, I'm cracking up. <laughs> because apparently, Mandy, we are not the only people who love doing our planners on New Year's Eve. Yay. Oh, there's Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Thank you, Judith. I know you're always my tech Hi, Valerie. friend. It's so <laughs> fun to see all you guys. Yay, we're going to have such a fun night. Mandy and I have a fun night in store for you guys. Hi, Amy. You're so good. I should have you with me all I'm the like, time. I need like... Bigger pump. We've been my Hi, milk Christy. allergy mom get my milk <laughs> allergy mom sidekick too. So good. So we're gonna do a few things tonight. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of tonight's layout and then we'll get to the best part, which is well there's a lot of best parts. Amy is on. She's excited to see how to utilize her planner to the fullest. Hi, Amber. Amber's on. Awesome. This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> Abby! <laughs> Abby in the house! She's one of my homeschool friends. All right. Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Yay! How fun is this? <laughs> they show up better when you're here. <laughs> they like I think me. we should do milk I allergy mom reputation. like this. Yeah, you have a good <laughs> reputation. All right, so first thing we're going to do is tell you a little bit about ourselves. We just met like last week. We got along really great, so we thought, let's do this. Mm-hmm. It's not true. More like... 15, 18 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we've we been, have a we've reputation. We've been married for 18 years, yeah. right? I mean, not, not us. us. <laughs> we haven't been married. Um, we've been married to our husbands. So like maybe 17 yeah. years, probably. Yeah. We're going to talk about that in a second. So we're going to tell you about ourselves. Hi, Helen. I want to keep saying hi to everybody. <laughs> hi, Van hi. Lynn. And then we are going to tell you why we love our planners and why we love planning. And then we are going to tell you a little bit about our style and what you'll see here at the planner page that we set up, what kind of our jive is, and you can decide if it mixes with what you're looking for. Then we're going to get into the 12 steps to set up their planners, which is what we're really excited about. <laughs> and then we are going to do a giveaway at the end, Ooh. so you'll want to stay. Um, t I didn't even grab the prize. I have to go find <laughs> it. All right, I'll do that while you're doing a job. And then, um, gosh, I hope I can find it. Shoot. Um, and then, um, yeah, the, the giveaway, and then we have a little bonus thing Hi, here at the end. Shauna! <laughs> Shauna's done a lot of crafty things with us. She but has. Shauna, you have never seen Mandy and Jamie on live video on Facebook before. Technology, girl. <laughs> We've been crafting with Shauna for 15, 10, 15 years. <laughs> And this is epic, Shauna, right? <laughs> right. All right. She's so, like, no comment. <laughs> like, no comment. These people are crazy. Especially She's that been one. with us in person. She knows. <laughs> we are in my basement where we have done a lot of crafty stuff, like clubs and all kinds of stuff, having parties down here. But we're going to talk about that later, too, about our history, our track record. <laughs> it's not good. Jen! Not good. <laughs> Jen, hey, so Jen Marie. To see you. Our friend Jen, she Yay. left us. We were so cool that she moved to another state. <laughs> she used to come to classes in my basement. No, not the basement. She was at the old place where we did classes in a in a sewing shop. Yep. Thanks to my mom. Mm -hmm. So, as you're kind of gathering, Mandy and I have been together for a long time. What did you decide on years? I don't know, like 17. 17 probably. years. Probably. Awesome. I'm gonna tell you how we met. Uh Jeff and I had just gotten married. You and your hubby just got married. You guys moved to my hometown. Mm -hmm. And you started coming to my church. Mm -hmm. And about that time is when Jeff told me that I needed a hobby. He said, I want to go hunting. I want to go golfing. I want to play games. And what hobby did you pick? I didn't have a hobby yet. But I met you. And I was I like. I know, but what you, I remember what you decided on. Oh, calligraphy? calligraphy. Oh, yeah. That was going to be my hobby. That didn't last very long. And Mandy said, well, my hobby is paper crafting. And I said, well, tell me about paper crafting. I was crafting. scrapbooking first, yeah. Yeah. And then we went to a Stampin' Up! Card party. Card party, yeah. yes. 
and I got hooked. I think Karen invited us, maybe. Yeah, Karen invited us. Jamie decided card making was going to be my hobby. Because you could write calligraphy inside your cards. I could write calligraphy <laughs> inside my cards, which I never did. Yep. I ended up buying like Hi, thousands. Linda. Of dollars. Hi, Linda. Thousands Jen, of dollars. Jennifer's laughing at us. Thousands of dollars in stamps because I didn't want to write in calligraphy after I figured out yes. about rubber stamps. And then I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Why did I do that and you didn't? I am mm -hmm. the, I'm always the sucker. You're the go-getter. Yeah. I'm just the Yeah, you're my follower. sidekick all yeah. the time. So, uh, up. I was Guess a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 12 years, but Mandy is the reason that I was like a paper crafter because my husband told me I needed a hobby. And now I don't know if he regrets telling me that. <laughs> we can go ask him. <laughs> because then I was like, okay, well. Hi, Katie. I'll start a blog and I'll scrapbook mm -hmm. and I'll teach classes in our basement. Honey, aren't you so glad I we have We started a blogs here? at the same time, too. We did. <laughs> yes. Are you still blogging? That's like 10, yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. Do you probably. want to tell me your blog? We didn't talk about that. Um, I don't care. I I don't blog a lot, but I do occasionally. Creative sense blogspot dot com. It's because she's creative, and I'm thrifty. And she's thrifty. <laughs> so we're gonna get into so that I too. So I create for sense. Hi or Donna. Like we are glad that you made it. So that's how we met. Church crafty. Jamie needed a hobby. Mandy. Jeff was glad we met so I would get out and of his hair every clubs once in a while. Together. So then you tell them our crafty history. So once I got my crafty my craft on well, then what did you make me do all those years Mandy well she did what did I what did I make you mm -hmm. do like it's my fault mm -hmm. we did clubs we did stamp clubs we for did a stamp long club time. yes we marker, made rubber stamped um mm, cards marker club we had a marker club um, we helped mamas buy a bunch of or girls not everybody's had kids um buy markers and split them up mm -hmm. so we could buy hundreds of markers because we wanted to be thrifty yeah because we yes. like to be thrifty. Because I'm cheap. And we need everything. We <laughs> yes. needed all the markers. We needed um, all the markers. And we were willing to take eight months to accumulate all the yes. markers. Yes. Then what did we do? Because we got together once a month and we had fun and we had food. and We did. Yes. We do these things so that we'll keep getting together. Yes. We did scrap club. Then we did scrap club. Yes. That Shauna, was great. Shauna, were you in our scrap club with us? There's Kate. Hi, Kate. Um, Joette. I like that name. That's pretty. All right, Scrap Club. We yes. tore it up, Scrap we Club. We did that for a couple years, didn't I we? I think like three. Three. Actually, mm -hmm. here's Scrap Club. Um, we would put together a kit. These were my scrapbooks from Scrap using Club. Using Stampin' Up! products. Yep. And people would buy them, and then we'd make samples. And We made them super awesome. versatile kits. Yes. They could turn mm -hmm. the kit into cards. I think like, how many cards? Eight cards? Or they could turn it into a scrapbook layout. Mm -hmm. We love paper. Yes. We love markers. Yes. We yep. love stamps and stuff. Okay, here's the question, because I think this is what happened, but you can set me straight. Um, was it my idea to get into planners? Did I tell you, like, Mandy, I think I'm done card making. I don't have time to scrapbook. I don't know. I don't but remember. I'm seeing this thing on Instagram where people are doing really cute, fast stuff with planners, yeah. and I need to be organized. Mm-hmm. So you, I, yeah. you I left, did it. You left scrapbooking for planning. I, yes. I left you <laughs> in the dust with your scrapbooking. I still, I still scrapbook, but I, Hi, Cindy. I plan now too, yes. So you're still scrapbooking. Do you still make cards or do you go to Hallmark? Um, no, I don't make cards anymore. Yeah, I, I don't go to Hallmark. I go to Dollar Tree. I know. <laughs> I buy cards now too. Jennifer and Shauna, are you so disappointed? I buy Cindy cards loves now. This. Yay. So that is our... Jennifer, do you still stamp? Jen Marie? Yeah, tell us if you still stamp. We want to know. Hi, Ellie. Ellie's one of my local friends. All right. All right. So that is our We need to have a history. local meetup sometime. We do need to have All a local meetup. All you Springfield meet people, Central Illinois. They really do want to do that. Yes. <laughs> I've Shana's always bought always... cards. Shana. Shana. <laughs> All those years we made cards, you were buying them. All right. The one thing we want to know. So this is a party. So um, I brought the we chocolates. Chocolate. And for all my allergy and friends dairy here, because I'm lactose free. intolerant, and her son is dairy allergic, so we fit in good together. Yes, <laughs> now we are all dairy free. I haven't stamped in six years, Jen Marie says. Oh, Jen, yeah, we're kind of bad. Shauna too. says, "Don't, don't judge we me. won't judge you, Shauna." No, we won't judge you. We love I buy you. cards at the Dollar Tree now, and I have a thousand stamp. Well, not a thousand. Um, family, <laughs> family. Do wait, what store is it? Dollar Tree. Is that what you just Dollar said? Dollar Tree. Yeah, they're because they're fifty Tree has cents awesome a piece. Cards. <laughs> Two for a dollar. 
She gives us more time. Most people just throw them away anyway. I know. <laughs> so the cheap cards give us more money for our planners. And more time for our planners because we don't have Jen to Marie, make Jen Marie, you need to turn cards. that craft room into a Lula room. Oh, yeah. She's our Lula girl. <laughs> Dollar Tree has nice handmade cards. Handmade? How's that, Helen? I'm confused. They do have some different cards with, like, dimension and stuff on them sometimes. Oh, okay. I've bought some... bought Is that a word? I don't I've know. bought some um, graduation cards there before that were... Like 3D? Yeah. Cool. Something. And... Uh, hi, Cindy. Did I hear you say hi topic. to Cindy? We are off Dollar topic. General. Yep, that's another good one. You guys are awesome. I love the interaction. Keep it going. I like so the I want to know what you guys have for your New Year's Eve snack tonight and what you're drinking. What you're drinking. We know what Helen's drinking. We heard some wine was happening <laughs> tonight. I really am going to have something fun, but I'm obsessed right now with my Dunkin' Donuts cup that my kids got me. I've never had a Turvis this big. And awesome. my brother got this for my husband for Christmas, and it's mine now. Very nice. I've I always like wanted a stainless steel straw. Is it, is it from Starbucks, or where is it? Or uh, do you know? I don't know. This came with some book thing that he got. Fondue. Fondue. Ooh, that mm. sounds good. Oatmeal, a pear. Hair and water. <laughs> Jennifer. <you laughs> She's need, healthy. She needs okay, to come so do my New drink, Year's with us. I have a red Solo cup, but it's not. And, like, Jamie wrote our names on here so we would know whose is whose, which is great. Um, but then I dump I, ranch in your cup. <laughs> well, not mine, Jeff's. <laughs> so, um, I have a concoction that I made. It's pomegranate cranberry juice with 7-Up, and then I have actual pomegranate seeds in here. It's pretty yummy. Yeah, it really isn't alcohol, guys. Mm -mm. I can vouch. Because that would be bad if we got on Facebook <laughs> Live. <laughs> We're already crazy. Mm, we are. All right, so we've got chocolate, water, juice, and we are going to get to planner stuff. Yes. That's what we know you guys want to see. All right, let's tell them about our style real quick. You've already talked about how cheap you are. Well, yeah. Is that the word for it, frugal? I'm thrifty. thrifty. That's what I say. Frugal, that's a better word. Probably. All right, Mandy's definitely more thrifty than I am. I like to think I'm pretty thrifty, but you've always been the thriftier of us. Yes, I have. Um, I... And your style... Do you like to buy um, lots of sticker sheets on Etsy? And No, I don't buy lots of sticker sheets and on Etsy. And do you... Um, I like more bang for my buck. Yes. My favorite stickers to use are... Lemonade. It's a good one. Lemonade. Somebody oh. has lemonade. I'm like, lemonade? What kind of <laughs> stickers are those? <laughs> I like to use um, Happy Planner stickers. Those are like my favorite. But I really like the Erin Condren sticker sheets, too. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm a sticker girl. I like to decorate my layouts, um, but not like over the top. There's a lot yeah. of people who have to put a sticker in every single place, and I'm I like white space. You like to stretch your stickers because you're yes. frugal, so yes. you don't like to put a lot on. And I barely put any on. Yes. So I like to say that you're more. You do like. We're gonna talk about just a re in a minute why we like planners. You are. Um, kind of creative oh, helen likes happy planner stickers too awesome yes we don't just talk about erin condren here yeah no uh but we do love the planners mm -hmm. and then you like to find accessories that'll work good in yes. the planners yes uh good bang for your buck yes and then uh so you're kind of the creative one you definitely decorate more than i do mm -hmm. and i am like the budget organizer like my planner is like legit organizing my life mm -hmm. like my blogging work my and menu. I and you I, do menu planning and stuff like that I do yeah but mine is more I'm a budget maniac in of mine. a creative outlet for me yeah which that's yeah and mine's like a number crunching tool mm -hmm. a lot all right so what was next on so that's our style creative mm -hmm. practical why very we love, simple we're both simple why we love planning yeah let's talk that? about oh yeah why we love planning all right so we have our three reasons why we love planning let's see amy says i had a planner last year but i used it fox like <laughs> what is she four, thinking? probably four four, <laughs> four like, like three, three months. months then stopped that is why we're here girls yes because well, we're gonna talk about that in a second too but we ran this page for a year, mm -hmm. and we kept hearing that people bought the planners and didn't use them, mm -hmm. which this is what we think about that. Yes. You have to use a planner <laughs> if you're going to buy it. So that's why we're here. We want to motivate you guys yes. to use your planners. And, well, this is what we do every New Year's anyways. 
Mandy and I come up with some ingenious ideas. We like to just <laughs> do crazy stuff on New Year's and we're like, let's have a stamp club. Let's have a scrap club. It's the beginning of the year and we feel like that's where all of us start deciding that we're going to like be crafty mm -hmm. and be organized. So we actually thought of this a few days before tonight, so that was good. Mm -hmm. We've had a couple days to plan. Yeah, <laughs> and so this is what we like to do. So we were like, we're going to sit together while our husbands are playing games and our kids, kids are, are playing occupied. Minecraft. <laughs> we used to have to supervise them. Yes. We don't have to anymore. No. It's awesome. They can take care of themselves. Awesome. <laughs> and we, were, we would be sitting at the table with our planners, totally legit. We would be doing this right now. And we're going to give you a tour of our planners and what we have set up for next year. And that's what we would mm -hmm. be doing anyways. We haven't shown each yep. other. We haven't practiced. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to get like legit Jamie, we're, Mandy. We're winging it, girls. New Year's Eve night. And I do want to say that I'm wearing... One of my shirts. Mandy's shirt. Planner's got a plan. Yes. She designed it and has it on Amazon. We should give them the link later. Mm -hmm. You can get yeah, it different we can, colors. We can post it on the event page maybe yeah. later. Or and on we can this. post it on here too. Yeah. Um, I like this shirt a lot. It comes in different colors. And I was trying to like size it for people to tell them. I think um, my true size is like a medium. So that's what I bought. Mm -hmm. And it's like the perfect fit. So if you like any yes. room. Like if you like... It's not too tight, though. I don't look like yeah, a teeny bopper. it's not bopper. like a junior's fit because I... This is how it fits me. It's like... I wear, like, large, extra large, and I got the extra large in a different... I made a teacher shirt also. I don't have the planner shirt yet, but I'm buying it soon. Buy your own shirt. <laughs> I am going to I would buy recommend it. What color are you going to get? Probably pink. <laughs> We should yes. plan this ahead of time because when we do our videos now, we're going to both be wearing we'll pink to shirts. Wear. Yep, I'll buy a different okay. color. I'll buy a different color in my size up. So I do want like a size up mm. one, two, because I like to layer this one with something over it. Okay. But then I want the size up. I'll get the large to wear, to wear like with shorts and stuff like that. All right. Gotcha. <laughs> Where were we? I'm already off track. We're talking about okay, why we why love planning. We love our planners. Yes. We could talk about Do you guys want to know why ever. we love our planners or do we just want to get to the 12 steps? I think people would want to know. Yeah, remember Jen Marie? We were the itty, itty bitty party, right? Yeah, itty bitty. Jen used to be at our house on New Year's. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. All okay. right. So you want Reasons me to go first why you, you love, love your planner. First? Go ahead. Okay. So, one, I like to write things down. I am a pen and paper girl. Those are my jam. Mm -hmm. Was somebody asked on the page, the Facebook page, about why do I need a planner? Because I have a digital phone calendar. Thingy. Yeah. Um, and you know that's great and all. My husband's like, "Oh, you got this um, phone? Why don't you just use it to keep track of everything?" And I'm like, "I want to write it down." We so like pencils. We yo. like pencils and colorful pens and stickers and all that stuff so that's my number one how many markers do you think we own together oh way we too own a many thousand? to count <laughs> I'm sure. okay number two number two i like it as a creative outlet i like to be able to sit down once a week and use my stickers and my pens and write and sometimes i do creative lettering not very fancy You're or good often at that. but i like it I don't scrapbook as much as I would like. That's one of my goals for 2018. Um, but it's a good weekly creative outlet um, for me. Does so. it help relieve stress for you? Oh, I don't know. Probably does. <laughs> Ooh, washi tape, yes. Probably cheaper than a psychiatrist. Yep, yeah, probably so. That's how I justify it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then number three, um, since I do scrapbook, I like to be able to um, keep track of everything that we do. Um, it's a good reference when I'm going back to scrapbook of um, just our memories that we've made throughout the year. So. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. Good step. So you love pen and paper. You like being crafty. Mm -hmm. And you use it as a Memory scrapbooking keeper, yeah. reference. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I don't scrapbook anymore. All right. I want to try that chat book thing sometime. Yeah. I'm. Have you done that? I, I haven't. I might cheat and do that. If anybody's done it, let me know. I don't think it's cheating. <laughs> You're preserving memories. Yes. So. All right. My three reasons why. I, I didn't write them. Oh, I did write them down. Okay. My first reason why I thought that we should do planners is because I needed to get my 
life more organized. It started getting chaotic with starting blogging work more seriously and trying to get healthy and trying to meal plan mm -hmm. better and trying to keep track of schedules now with the boys doing sports and activities. And so I just wanted to get my life better organized because I really did not have a good system for keeping track of everything. I think we were like forgot a doctor's appointment and got mm. kicked out of the dentist. <laughs> I really did get kicked out of that dentist office. And I think that was the point when it was like, I need to do You're something. Like, I, need to I, can't, I thought I could remember everything. Like mm -hmm. I have a pretty good memory and in college I literally operated on memory. And so that was like, Jamie, you're losing it. You yeah. got too many things going. Um, so just to organize my life, which you didn't say. So that's one of my mm -hmm. things. Uh, number two is um, I work from home. So yeah. If you ever got kicked out of a doctor's office, let me know. <laughs> that would make me feel better. <laughs> I really did get kicked out of the dentist. We can't come back because I forgot an appointment. Um, then because of doing online or doing a business from home. So I know that a lot of us mamas are working from home and I just needed a system to um, keep track of my projects and um, my goals and so like I'm in charge of me I don't have a boss to report to so I really needed a place to be like hey these are the things I want to accomplish mm -hmm. so a business reason and then um, the other thing is as a keepsake kind of like you I was like man this is a good I need something a crafty outlet to mm -hmm. kind of record stuff and so it's kind of like my scrapbook now so what did I say organizing my life business, business. stuff mm -hmm. and a keepsake so we have different reasons and There's a lot of people but this kind of ties in both of ours, keepsake and the memory keeping. A lot of people will print off pictures and put them in their planners. So that it's like a memory planner. Um, I've seen a lot of people do this with a different planner, which I've used before too. Um, and I think that's a good way to kind of meld the two together. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots of comments here. Um, that's why I got a planner for this coming year. I'm forgetting too many things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is terrible. You reach that, you cross the line one day and you're like, oh Lost boy. Lost a pediatrician and dentist due to forgetting, Helen said. Oh, Helen! <laughs> I knew there was a reason we were friends. I adopted four kids this year. I lo Oh, that, yeah. Oh, okay, that's one. Helen. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a different Helen. So we have some multiple Helens on here. I'm going to start <laughs> referencing things and be way wrong. <laughs> Okay, so those are the reasons why we love our planner. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to keep sharing why you bought a planner or why you have been using a planner, go ahead and leave those. And if we miss comments, um, we'll come back and chat with you guys later too. And then you guys can talk to each other as well as we go along. So the next thing is to do the 12 steps. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Oh boy, this party might go for a while. <laughs> This might be the three-hour tour. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So, our 12 steps, Mandy. Yes. Let's get to Here. the 12 steps. So, this is what we wanted to do. We kept hearing from you guys in our um, Facebook page here, and welcome to all the new people. We know we added a lot of people this week because it's like buy a planner week, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and thank you to you um, who used our uh, referral code. So if you have not bought a planner yet and you are um, just checking this out to see if this is right for you, we do have like a code where you can get $10, $10 off your Erin Condren planner if you purchase one through our link. And uh, again, we're going to do a giveaway <laughs> at the end. I really have to go find the giveaway. And um, here, can I throw this in there? If you've already bought a planner, um, but you didn't know about the referral link, you can still click on that and get $10 off like accessories that's or right. something. Yeah, because that's what I did. Yeah, basically mm -hmm. they're just sending you a code to your yeah. email that's a code for $10 off. Mm -hmm. And when you order from Erin Condren, you can only use one code at a time, you can't use two. And so any time that you would need that $10, you can use it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I always thought it was for like yeah. your first planner, but mm -hmm. girls were using it. I tried it yeah, out and it worked. You tested yep. it out for mm -hmm. me, so that's awesome. All right, so the 12 steps we wanna go through, um, we both have our planners here with us. <laughs> Shauna. Who <laughs> <laughs> accessories. Um, I have last year's, and so I want to kind of, what happens is when we hold this up, the lighting changes. My husband's techie, and he told me about it, so we're mm. just going to have to deal with that. Oh, um, there's the glare and stuff. 
Or... Yeah, it just like changes the lighting mm. on the camera. Kind of weird. Sorry. Hi, Valerie. She's one of my allergy oh, okay. friends. I'm going to get some stickers then. Yes, exactly. You can use the $10 mm -hmm. on anything. So I have my planner from 2017 that I am basically going to, as we go through the 12 steps, I'm going to show you how I actually kept using my planner and stuck with it for a year um, because I think that that's important for people to see that you actually can stick with them mm -hmm. and then I have my new 2018 right here and I've already set up a few things literally Mandy last night I set up my planner in 30 minutes you know I had a lot going on mm -hmm. last night mm -hmm. and this is one of those things where if you do stick with it it gets easier mm -hmm. like I knew exactly what I wanted my blank pages to be if you were with us last year I had like put sticky notes in to try to determine um yeah Helen or Ellie this one's really pretty um and this one's still pumpkins <laughs> but I love this cover I had this one for fall and it is great I'm like I don't want fall to it's end really because I love it can I keep pumpkins year round I don't see why not I never thought I would switch covers we'll talk about all of that later accessories is another day but um mm -hmm. I never thought I would switch covers. Yep, and here's mine. Kind of do now. Yeah. I actually have, this is my third cover I've had on so far. Um, we sound, we sound. But it was an awesome deal. It was an awesome I got, deal. <laughs> <laughs> because it was, they were doing it during fall and it was like, buy one cover, get one free. Yeah, buy one. Free. So I got the pumpkin cover too and then this cover. Jen, you can so, switch covers. And the covers are an accessory. So if you buy four accessories, you get 15% off all of them. And when it's like $6 for awesome. a cover, I mm -hmm. thought they would charge extra for me to put my name no, on, and they did got didn't. your name for free, yep. So. Oh, Jen, yes, Jen, you can switch covers. They just pop right off. Look They'll come back. There okay. it goes. Sorry, guys. Yep, it just, it just snaps right off, and then you just pop it back into the coils. I have a whole stash of um, covers now, but we'll talk about that, right? Yes. All right. So, let's get to our 12 steps, girl. Yes. So, you've got your planner, now what? Now what? what? They bought their planner. Now what everybody's thinking? Yes, that's okay. what I'm thinking. I bought my planner, so, now what, Mandy? the first thing you need to do, at least this is what I like to do, is determine a time when you can plan. So, set aside a time that is good for you. Usually, I plan on Sundays, Sunday afternoon. My daughter's usually playing, chilling, doing something after church, and my husband's busy or they're playing video games together or something, and so I sit at my desk and plan. I also have been known to take my planning stuff on the go and plan at my daughter's basketball practices. <laughs> um, so set aside a time that's good for you. And if you can't do it the same time every week, that's no big deal. Be flexible. Don't think, oh, it's Sunday, I haven't planned. There's been weeks when I've I'll planned on week, Tuesday. Because I know? missed it. I missed my window. So, I just skipped. So don't, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't feel like you have to do the same thing every week. Just try to pick a general time and then be flexible. I like Sunday nights. Yes. I'm a night girl. And if it doesn't get on then on Sunday night because like the family's like making me feel guilty, mm -hmm. then I do it Monday yeah. morning. Yep, same. Well, cool. Monday afternoon Monday someday someday <laughs> Monday sometime all right so that was the first step which yes. is what determine your planning determine time? your planning time okay because yes. we can't do all the fancy steps if we don't even plan on yes. doing it okay correct so then number two which everybody doesn't do this but some people might plan on the go planning on the go uh-huh so I brought my little um, planner pouch that I like to keep some of my favorite um, planning accessories in that I can just grab on the go. So I've got this little pouch in here that's got some clips and some post-it notes. I've got scissors in my bag. I've got chapstick because everybody needs chapstick. We in actually planner both bag. applied <laughs> chapstick before we got on here. I have whiteout tape in my bag because you never know when you're gonna make an oops in your planner, but it's okay because cover it up with a sticker or who cares? That's what stickers really are for is to cover up our mistakes. Yes, and then I have some of my favorite pens and pencil um, mm -hmm. to use in my planner. You do love pouches. I do you're love pouches. You're like a pouches. pouchaholic. I'm like a kangaroo. Ah, <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. You didn't know it's gonna jokes. be comedy hour either, mm -hmm. did you? So some people also um, ask about. So we're talking about planner. being able to take our planning on yes, the go. Yes, planner, like a pouch for your planner. Mm -hmm. I know Erin Condren sells one, and I'm sure somebody out there has done a comparison before. You don't have they the Erin Condren plan. No, pouch, I don't. Do you? This is a 31. Um, it's the large size bag. And it fits your planner. Yes, it fits my planner. I actually have an extra cover in there right Ooh, now. Oh, extra cover. I so spy. the planner. Hi, Raquel. Goes in. Zips up. And then both of these things and my stickers. Are you going to put a bag inside a bag? I <laughs> put inside another 31. Oh, you'd think I was a 31 demonstrator or something. but I'm still trying to find. Another yeah. 31 tote. So everything fits in this. And then I'm good to go. Yep. And my stuff is in the wow. new Erin Condren little tote bag, the jute gray bag, and I love it. So I'm ready to go whenever I want to plan. I do these, so Miles had to get like allergy shots and we have to sit and wait for 30 minutes mm -hmm. and this was a great thing. So yeah, to be able to get it done, it doesn't have to be that you have to have an office at home and a desk and everything. Like you can actually just have it in things to take with you places. Mm -hmm. And we like to go to each other's houses and do it sometimes. Or the park too. even. Yeah, we've done <laughs> we've it at the, park at the park while before. the kids play. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so step one was determine your planning time and two was be prepared to plan on the go mm -hmm. so that you can get it done, okay? Yes. All right. Step three, I don't use this, but All right, Jamie now does. we're getting into the planner. Yes, planner, we're opening it up. We're and opening. the inside covers, front and back, have these cute little note areas lamination call stations them. lamination station lamination station lamination station <laughs> and there's one on the inside cover oh. and there's one make a printable of these steps hmm helen just wait till the end we yeah, might have something helen, what a great you. idea <laughs> i think she read our mind and there might be a future video on lamination pages yeah on yeah. pens and comparisons and yeah. so future we, future videos yeah. might be in the works here but mine is blank mandy shame because number one i don't have any pins shame for on this. you surprise surprise but there's some in my amazon cart <laughs> push send girl and add your t-shirt to it while you're at to. it all right so i got this mandy i got this all this right. is why they need both this of us this is you yes. because i hi carrie i do use my inside covers uh so this is the inside cover on the front which is the back of your which so some planners i think um don't really have anything on the inside so like it's actually decorative mm -hmm. Um, it was a big deal that it was decorative a couple years ago, and now they actually made it functional. So it's, again, uh, lamination. Uh, you can use wet erase, dry erase. I like to use dry erase because it stays on longer. And I use both, um, In then I use the one on the back as well. And what I have found over the years that I use um, these for the best is something that I'm not going to erase, like something that I really want to stay there the whole year because this really is a pain in the butt to erase. <laughs> Um, you can do it with uh, alcohol or a few other things, but if you do it with a dry erase marker, it really will stay on there, uh, wet erase wet marker. Erase, yeah. It'll stay on there. And so what I like to do is something that I want to stay. I do our home schedule where I'm trying to like block time because my planner, I'll never be able to do a planner that blocks time hours, but I do like to at least give myself a guide. Like mm -hmm. when I feel like life is getting out of control and we're not getting anything done, I come back to this and be like, okay. I should be able to accomplish all of this stuff in one hour chunks. Um, and we can talk about that another time. But this is our home schedule. I actually stick a little, one of their little sticky note pads that Erin Condren mm. sells right here. Because I use one of these once a week. And so I like to have it right That's there. A good idea. I did have it in my bag. But I would find, sometimes I would just take this with a pin. Is mm. my favorite pin in here? I don't see it. Oh yeah. Haha. <laughs> my favorite pen. And it literally just goes right on here. And so sometimes I will just leave the house like this. So I like to have the sticky notes ready mm -hmm. to go. And then on the back side, um, some of you guys know that I blog at Milk Allergy Mom. And um, I have 
a my posting schedule set um, on the back. So this is for the new year, and I'm excited because why do dry erase? What dry erase can you use that will prevent it from transferring to other pages? You need to use wet erase markers. Yes, yes, wet erase is better. Yeah. It's more like, or you could actually do Sharpie, mm -hmm. and Sharpie would come off. I actually, Mandy, should have done this in Sharpie because I really do want this to stay all year. Like, And I, you can erase Sharpie with a, um, well, you have something, the stone Yeah, yeah, product, universal stone. Uh -huh. Or um, you can use a magic eraser. Oh, good idea. The, Do you think the alcohol works on those too? Oh, I don't know. I think I the alcohol works on alcohol, that. Rubbing alcohol? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is New Year's Eve. We should be careful talking about alcohol. <laughs> Just rub some wine on it. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon oil. That's a good one too. So okay, these are on. my, the front is my schedule for my home and the back is the schedule for my blogging and I want to be able to reference Look them. Look at Shauna's little tip for you. Slide your pen down on the inside of the spiral and not the outside. And Thanks, stay Shauna. Out of your way. Oh, Shauna is so <laughs> smart. Let me try it. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> awesome. Shauna, so smart. Okay, so that was inside laminated covers. Yes, we didn't have this down, but the first thing that I always do when I get my new planner is write my name on the line. That's like my favorite part. Have you guys written your name in your planner yet? I just wrote my first name, but... It's epic. Yes. You know I what like really it. sucks? And I've done this two years in a row now, what? is when it's not centered. Oh. I cannot deal. <laughs> you know what I do? I can't deal. Here's the trick. You did it in pencil write first. Write it in pencil first, and then go over it with a pen, and then you can erase your... Yeah. Do you ever have a thing, that feeling a that you should do that and then you just tell yourself, I do not have to use a pencil because it's going to work. And then it didn't work and you just want to cry. I like that. I did it last seat. night and mine is not centered. Big failure. All right. I think I should call Aaron Condren and tell them I need a new planner because I didn't center it. They'll just send you this page and then you'll have to uncoil it and stick it in there. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a sticker over it, right? Yeah. A, a address label. There you go. That would look really would stupid. Be... Okay. Okay. Next step. We got the laminated covers done. All right. So next we're going to talk about the yearly calendar pages. So this is in the front of your book and it has the, t well, this one, mine, what does the new one have? Is it just 2018 or does yours have 18? Okay, 19? so I have the new 12 month planner. My planner is July 17 through June 18. Mine so is I've also been, that. Okay, so I've been using mine for six months already and I'm still in this one for the new year until June. So. So the calendar pages are the same. Okay. Yep, my calendar pages are the same. So you you have an 18 oh, month. It says right here too. No, mine's just 12. Oh, it's 12. But it's July, July to, to June. Ju June. Yeah. Okay, because you were kind of going for like a school schedule. Yeah. And then I have I do the full year, so 2017 and 2018. So what I did on my what I, how I use these pages. Um, what does Shauna say? It's page one and has to be perfect. Still no name. Shauna, <laughs> Shauna. you're gonna make me have heart palpitations tonight. Don't bring, bring it over, Shauna. I'll write your name for Let's you. Let's change the subject. Oh, the Mine's not change. centered. I know. Okay. So yearly calendar pages. How many of you use these? Me, teacher. I I did not Me, use this for a while in my past planners, and then this time I thought, okay, I need to use this, and I saw this idea. Um, I don't think Erin Condren sells clear colored stickers, do they? I don't think so. Okay. Um, there's some on Etsy. I bought the new circle stickers for this page. Are they Erin Condren? Helen? Erin, <laughs> uh, Shauna uses it. I do, I do. Yay, Shauna! A for Shauna. Well, I... The, okay, tell us the, what you track. The thrifty girl in me did not want to buy stickers, so I'm using highlighters. Thin highlighters. They do? Okay, we'll have to check that out next time, maybe. It's new. Okay, so they have new ones. Yay! So, I don't know if this is, if you can see this good or not, but I track my um, daughter's school And you have a code at the top, like Yes, I have a code. You have a key. So, each color means something different. Like, no school, it's backwards, isn't it? <laughs> no school, it's half okay. days, um, 
quarter ends and begins. Out of stock. Oh, they're out says. of stock. Okay, well, you can use highlighters. Do you think that the video doesn't change lighting if we hold it back like this? I know, but then they, I was trying to get it so they could see yeah, it. Yeah, so they could see it. So I got a pack of, um, these are Casemate um, highlighters. And they're, and they're Aaron thin. And Erin highlighters too. These are thin. And I got them at Walmart during back to school, but they probably sell them all the time. And I got them because there were a bunch of different colors because I needed at least six colors. <clears throat> um, and so they're just thin and I just like, you know, make a little circle over the numbers to notate when things start or when there's no school or whatnot. I like it. So. I, I mine. do mine totally different. <laughs> I circle mine in pencil. Um, our paydays. So they're Jeff's paydays. He gets paid bi-weekly. I circle them in pencil in case I mess up because I always inevitably do. <laughs> and then I go back and realize um, I messed up. So I do that in pencil. And then, Shauna, I need your help. Because I don't know if I should say this in video. What else I? What else do I track, Shauna, on the yearly? With the little lines going through five or six days? Oh, I know. Shauna, go ahead. It's your quiz. Because if I say it out loud, the guys upstairs might hear me. And they might you can just say, get really mad. They wouldn't get mad. They'd be embarrassed. They'd be like, what is your video down there about? Mess it up on holiday, holiday weekends. Weeks. So anyway, I do two things. Girl on my, cycles. There you go. Thank you, Shauna. I was going to say Aunt Flo. Shauna gets another A. Thanks, Shauna. You just said that. Shh. They don't know what Aunt Flo means. I bet they do. Jeff just figured out what menopause is, so maybe not. <laughs> don't say that too loud. Ooh, this Hi, is girls. Going, this is going down. All right, so you use your yearlies with the color-coded highlighters to do all kinds of things. What are you tracking yes. again? Tell me what you're tracking. School calendar. School calendar. Yes. And I'm circling paydays and putting lines through <laughs> girl, and girl stuff. Yes. Because there's nothing worse than going to the yearly appointment and them saying, when was your last... And I'm like, I don't oh, know. I never <laughs> remember to look. So, yes, Donna, that's it right there. So that's <laughs> what I think we should use that for. Yes. All right. What All step right. are we on, Mando? Next, we are on goals pages. I guess that's what you call yeah, them. Yeah, that's what I call them. What are the they next, called? I have no idea. I use these pages for paydays and cycle two. I want to be Jamie when I grow up. <laughs> Good one, Shauna. Shauna, you're not me until you have a planner's got a plan t-shirt. Then yeah. you are So buy one. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. We'll give them the link. Uh, All right. Goals pages. Goals pages. How many of you have these filled out? I can say I did not until yesterday because I'm not a big goals setter person don't be afraid to dream Mandy. So, i know it says dream big this says don't call it a dream Shoot call it a plan <laughs> so i did i didn't use both sides these are the pages we're talking about the ones with they're like cute boxes. little boxes did yeah. they used to have months on them or yeah they did i think okay. i think they did they they made it more so general now, for yeah. us so i'm using mine i just used one side and my big goal for 2018 is to get my scrapbooking under control. Mm. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is how many things I have in the scrapbooking works right now. Lots of loose ends. Lots of loose ends. Things to tie we up. We go on too many trips. I'm not complaining, but I she take does. a lot of pictures. She does. And I feel like I need to document all the memories. I think you live at Disney. Except this year, I'm letting go of scrapbooking every vacation. I'm going, one of my Good things, job, Mandy. I'm Let going to put pictures I printed into just regular photo albums so we can look at them and we don't know what to do. LOL. She doesn't know what to do. With these pages? Yeah. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. Is that what she means? I think, maybe. Is that what you mean, Valerie? You don't know what to do with the goals pages? 
Helen doesn't know either, so maybe okay. they meant we don't know what to yeah. do with these. So what I decided to do was pick a big goal, which is my scrapbooking. Okay. Catching up with scrapbooking. Okay, that's good. Um, and then I broke it down into different sections. So like I have... You broke it down. I broke it down. So one box I have Disney because we're big Disney people and we go a lot. And then I have travel in another section. And then I have, which is for other trips that aren't Disney related. And then I have school because I do a school album for my daughter. And then I have every day because I used to do, um, I meant I don't know what to do with the goals pages. There okay. Go. Yep. That's awesome. what we thought. That's what we thought. So every day is like, um, I used to do Project Life. Um, and before that I did regular just 12 by 12 pages for every day, like a yearly album, like when we did Scrap Club and stuff back here. So I'm trying to figure out how all this is evolving and this is my year. This is your year so, to get it under control. So you picked one broken. central goal and yes. broke it down. Yes. I love that. That's yes. good. Um, what did I do? So I also did mine last night and I did a quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. This side is, you don't know what you're going to do with your second side yet. And I might not use it. I don't know. But I'm we'll checking see. in with you because you need we'll more dreams. See. I need more dreams. <laughs> we need more dreams. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to have this side be personal and this side be work. So on personal, I did quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, and then two year things for what I want to accomplish in 2018. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, I know in my year is like get the carpets cleaned and get the basement painted, like just projects that we mm -hmm. need to get done. Mm -hmm. And then quarters are kind of what quarters I want to do Wait, those things mm -hmm. in. So it's kind of a loose mess right mm -hmm. now, but I'm feeling good about yeah. it. Yeah. And this side is work, which is my blogging. And so I kind of, what did I do here? I just have like lists that I need to keep. So like this doesn't, this isn't something that you guys would do, but I like what I'm gonna include in emails to people, um, sponsors I wanna contact, um, interviews I wanna do. So just different topics where I have running lists that are gonna go through the whole year is kind of what I've done there. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if those are goals. They're more lists. Mm -hmm. Which I think that's fine. There's yeah, it's no, a plan. It says call it, it a plan. It doesn't say goals anywhere on here. That's kind of just what we that's called what them. That's what we used to do yeah. because, yeah. You can really they, make well, it Well, they anything. used to be labeled by months, but yeah. now, like we said, it's more generic. So, I mean, you can go. <laughs> does anybody have these filled out in their planner or know what they're gonna put yeah, on them Yeah, if you do something different, let us know what you do. I really like that it's general, so mm -hmm. they didn't put months, so we can really do anything we want. Mm -hmm. Certain lists. Another thing that I really like, what I wish that they did, I wish there was a sticky note the size of that square, mm. because I have another planner, that another Erin Condren that I use just for my um, food allergy group, and they all have something similar to this, and the sticky notes fit. And like, there are things that I'm always changing. And so it's a good mm. place to like have a sticky note center going on. So anyway, I wish I had sticky notes. Hi Kayla. Hi Kayla, good to see you. All right, so that is the goal. We call them the goals pages, but they people might call them something else. But I think it's a great place to mm -hmm. park goals. All right. Isn't there? Oh, a, a sticky note? Um. This size is really interesting. It's like two by three. So I don't know. But if anybody knows a sticky note that would fit on these, please tell me because I would love that. Um, set yep. your long-term goals, then break them down into smaller bites. Yeah, that's a good one. That's what you're doing with your scrapbooking. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just say, yours are written in pencil, aren't I they? I did, yes. I wrote mine in pencil I wrote them too. In pencil. Not that I'm gonna erase them, but I just like pencil. Yeah. <laughs> and if you aren't sure yet, if you have ideas, this is what I did last year, if you have ideas but you aren't sure that's really what you want to do, like you still need to go through the rest of your planner, set mm -hmm. it up, see if you're on, if you, you got everything right, put sticky notes down that say, okay, this is going to be my goals page, this is going to be my sticky list notes page. Are your friend. And then you, after you plan the whole planner, you can like, then you can make those commitments. Mm -hmm. But I think pencil, um, people get hung up on markers and colored pens and I mean pencils are my friend in my planner because mm -hmm. I really do erase stuff 
Um, so yeah, we both use pencils. That's funny. All right, what's next? Next, I think we're like Blank. halfway through. We're halfway through, and it's only been almost an hour. Wow, this is epic. Well, we're halfway now. All right. Blank monthly pages. Maybe we're going into too much detail. Which, Maybe yeah. I need chocolate. There's never too much detail, right, girls? No, this is what we would be doing anyway. <laughs> we're, we're girls. We're women. <laughs> we love the details. Okay, so monthly. This is the first year, right, these planners, that they changed these pages. They used to just be all lines, right? Uh-huh. Like the circles, the circles were not there. at the top are new. So I what never... What else is new? That it's at the beginning of the month and oh, not the end know. of the month. This Rolling me off, first, yo. This is my first Erin Condren. So this is, this everything was new to me in this planner. So um, Jen Marie says, nope, mm -hmm. keep talking. It's great. <laughs> little chocolate. It's so, needed right now. Um, this was one of the... Um, first things that I was determined to figure out how I was going to use it. Jamie had already used it a different way um, in her other planner with just the line. So you kind of had to rethink mm -hmm. your strategy for this But you helped too. me. But yeah, we did. We sat down one time at like Starbucks or something and we were like, okay, let's like hash this mm -hmm. out. But um, so what I did... And when I started this was I used these as like headers, basically, the circles. And then I used my handy-dandy ruler that comes with your Erin Condren and drew lines down to make columns underneath. So I did monthly goals as one of mine. Um, and so I just kept like, you know, five or six things that I wanted to try and accomplish that month. And then I have birthdays just so I can see them at a glance, what, who I need to send cards to or whatever. Um, events, this is like um, birthday parties, school beginning, vacations, anniversaries, um, holidays, things like that. And then this, is, this one changed for me, the last one. I started out putting blogging things, mm -hmm. but I didn't blog. So You're a blog quitter. <laughs> I, I, um, I had a few things that I wanted to remember, like a podcast I wanted to listen to or a book I wanted to read. So I just did check this out for a while. Hmm, something and you then, wanted to do for yourself? Yeah. And then later on, um, like in the fall, I made like a fall bucket list of some things that I wanted to do in the fall. And I did the same thing for, um, I think I did October through December that way. Fun. Um, and then the bottom, of course I picked one that doesn't have one. But the... The last one at the bottom, I use a, I do a memory verse, a monthly memory verse that I put down here in the bottom box. So, but All I'm right. changing it up. So tell us your categories again, monthly goals, birthdays, events, and your bucket list. Yes. Things or to check do. this out. Check yeah. this out. And then a Bible verse I, at the bottom. Yes. But I'm changing it up in January. So here's my thing. Like, I'm going to show you mine in a second and I want to write them all. Oh, good. Okay. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to write them all out. Like, would you recommend going month to month so that if you change your mind? I do because I'm, like I said, I've done it. I do it as the month approaches. Do you? Um, because, like, for January, I'm changing it. I'm making it be more, I'm like, okay, it's great. I've got the birthdays out here, which I like that. But I can flip the page and look at my monthly calendar and see it, too. Um, so I'm trying more, um, I picked four areas and I'm trying more goals mm. in those areas. So okay. I'm going to have health, mm. faith, personal, and home. So in each category, I'm just going to pick a couple things, um, to work on that month. Where do like, I fall in? Like, like call Jamie, give Jamie a, um, a that'd note. be personal, okay. I guess. Um, so like my personal, I've got read one book, which that might get carried over to the next month because I'm not the fastest reader, but I like to, <laughs> You're I a like librarian. to, I like to read. You can read. Um, you can read I just don't make time for it, which yeah. is a thing. You'd rather so be I'm, I'm going to make it a goal. And then I have, I'm going to set a scrapbooking goal. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to look at my big list and then have, something tangible that I can comp accomplish each month okay. or try to accomplish each month and then try to do something for myself 
like whether it be nails or a pedicure or coffee with a friend or Ooh, yeah something like do that. that one so so that's just an example of one of them and I'll still do the Bible verse at the bottom I like having a monthly verse and then I also do a weekly verse yay too. good so. job girl all right so mine's totally different than yours which is why we're such a good yes. team and I think that I would write mine all out this is what I've learned in my little pep talk tonight is I used to think well don't do all your planner fun ahead of time and then not have anything fun to do later but I think <laughs> that that's where a lot of us end up not using our planner we like save all the stickers we save filling things out it's like oh I don't want to do it all at once we're kind of in the mood right now new year I want to do it all I'm in the mood but oh save some for later and then we fall off the wagon and we don't use all those stickers and we don't fill out those circles mm -hmm. and if they were already filled out or already decorated that might be the motivation to keep using it but it's all blank because you saved it for later so I think that I err on just do it like mm -hmm. I want to just fill in everything that I can fill in before the new year starts and you know what if I use up every sticker then heck I'll buy new stickers <laughs> but literally I have stickers it's accumulated not it's have. not I have <laughs> stickers accumulated labels from three years of planners and this year I'm like dude I'm like gonna code everything and I'm gonna get it done now mm -hmm. and if I actually have to buy more that meant I actually am using my planner so kudos to me mm -hmm. so um, and if I do fill out all those circles in this monthly thing and it makes a mistake you just do white out or whatever right mm -hmm. so um so you guys I'm the budget maniac I keep the budget for our family and for my work and everything so um the video that I do on YouTube about how I set up my Erin Condren planner for budgeting has been really popular I think as well popular for me like 10,000 <laughs> views I'm like rock star that's a lot status um, I think a lot of people are wanting to use their planners for budgeting and that's sort of my forte so what I do for each month and I want to say too like I said the pages are now the monthly pages blank pages are before the month mm -hmm. and one way to know which one you're in is it's the same color as your month so um, Mm, so yeah, January good... February's is before February and they're both pink. pink and so that's one way to make sure that you're mm -hmm. doing the right month because there's nothing worse than planning a month and it being on the wrong page mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I set up January last night um, these stickers are extra a different thing that Erin Condren sells it doesn't come with the planner but I really liked how it already had the months I was like writing the months out um, so I use those stickers for that and, and, uh, and see frugal me over here. I'm just handwriting. No, nope, so. I bought the stickers <laughs> <laughs> So you can go either way you can go either way I definitely wrote them last year or The tat the um, labels are in the back and since I now am realizing some of you have not ordered your things that you They come with labels in the back which we're going to talk about and some of them are blank and You can use those labels that they already give you mm -hmm. in the planner. You don't have to have the pretty metallic ones so what I like to do is do our budget in five categories these are the um, categories that change each month um, are these are the categories that are fluctuate on how much we spend each month so I like to keep track of every receipt so at the end of the month I know how much we spent in these categories and then I have categories later that are set that I'll tell you about in a minute um, so I do food and again I use that ruler to make my lines which they used to do no they didn't used to do I've always made my lines mm -hmm. um, but I put four lines make four sections with my ruler um, I think we both agree we don't keep our ruler snapped into no. our planner so a ruler comes with your planner do you have yours um, it's Here's in my mine. Bag. I keep it in the pocket so this is always with oh, me that's a good idea totally keep it in the pocket in the back mm -hmm. so there's a pocket in the back um, my planner has the month on the blank page does it mine is on the other side but not on the blank page huh that's interesting my planner has the month on the blank oh it's hmm. interesting I don't know what maybe it's a different layout or something so I take the ruler okay, what's what style planner do you have Ellie yeah tell us your style is it a vertical or horizontal or hourly We took a break we're breathing <laughs> feels good to it's breathe good not to talk for a minute yeah <laughs> so I use the ruler to set up my four categories under the four circles and we do food 
These are totally backwards. Eating out, cars, and... It's on both, she said. Oh, hmm, mine isn't. And maintenance around our house. And then at the bottom, I do miscellaneous. And this year, I am streamlining, and I'm putting our set bills in another area. So that is our gas, our electric, our mortgage, our cable bill, our tithing. Um, those are all set. So I wanted to have those... I wanted all the bills to be on one page. I did not do this last year, and I'm really gonna like all the bills on one page. Um, these are set, but I need to check when I actually paid the bill. Hmm. Because I might have missed paying some bills last this year. <laughs> and I thought, you That's know what? That's what your planner's for. I need to actually physically check, because I look at my planner so much, I need to check that I actually mm -hmm. paid each bill, like my mortgage and stuff like that. So. At the top is, again, the categories that fluctuate in amount spending, then my set amount um, down here on different bills. And um, I put right here, they're all laughing at me, that's what I'm here for. Um, I put the dates of this pay period. So uh, this pay period is January 5th, I put right here, to February 1st, which is right here. So I know exactly what dates I'm recording receipts for. Isn't that so exciting, Mandy? Budgeting? <laughs> It's great. You don't have to do it. I know. Your hubby does it. Mm -hmm. I'm but good. it's my job at my house. Yep. I'm not knocking it. Um, I use that on the monthly grid. I keep track of bills and paydays. I haven't missed a bill since I started this. Good, good job, nice. Helen. All right. So that is, this page is going to be at the front of every one of your months. And so we just showed you one of ours as an example. Um, I won't even bother showing what I did last year but I mean same kind of deal and yeah I mean I did a lot better with keeping track of bills and definitely tracking all of our spending so mm -hmm. we record every single penny and we stay in budget and try to save for stuff so mm -hmm. this is an excellent well I had when I first got my Erin Condren I had a separate whole binder for budgeting Mm -hmm. And I had all these extra pages. This is my setting up my first Erin Condren. And I was like, man, there's so many extra pages, which I love because I love creating stuff myself. I don't like people telling me to fill in blanks. Mm -hmm. I want a blank slate to do myself. And I thought, what do I do with all these extra pages? And I was like, okay, what do I, what can I streamline in my life? What can I put in this planner that will be worth me paying for this planner? And it dawned on me one day, like, throw all the budget stuff in there and get rid of the whole stinking budget binder. Mm -hmm. And so I love I it. Did it. Yep. You guys love your Erin Condor for budgeting. I'm your girl, and I need lots of hearts and thumbs ups if <laughs> you love your planner for budgets. Because some, the hubbies do it, and some, mm -hmm. the wifeys do it, and some, nobody does it. It really is good to have a budget, mm -hmm. though. Then you can save up money for your planner. Yes, you're getting some thumbs up. Yay! They, in a heart. Yay. See, Mandy, my people are here. The budgeters. <laughs> All right. What's All right, next? Moving on. Weekly spreads. We kind of skipped the um, monthly, but. We did? Like this page. Oh. We can just. This is like. That's kind of The important. month. Hey, look, look, look. I so got a we're, posse. We're on the month now. <laughs> so you've got your monthly spread. Which, I don't really decorate this. That's like... I'm, I'm going to... I just basically use pencil and fill in dates and events and whatever. And I like that I can just fill things in, like, ahead of time. If I need something, like, six months away, I can jump six months and... And then have... when you set up your weeks, you reference yes. it? Okay. So when I go to my weekly... I'm looking, I pull out my phone calendar, because I keep a lot of things on here, and then I um, look at this, and that's how I plan for my week. I also use sticky notes, um, so let's see if I have any, well this one has one, yeah. So this is like the second week of January, and I have like two sticky notes on there. These are the same every week, and so I just transfer the stick after I write it in here when I'm planning this week. I take the sticky note and I move it to the next week so I'm ready to plan for that week because mm -hmm. those things 
I mean, I might skip a week here and there if piano is canceled or something, but those are things that are constant that I helps me remember to write them in the calendar. So, so I am not going to use my monthly spreads for anything personal schedule. I just go ahead and when I have like a doctor's appointment or something, I just put it on the week's layouts. Mm, I don't okay. even bother. I don't even put birthdays on the month. Nothing. Nothing personal goes on my month. But what I'm going to do different this year is all my blog scheduling I'm going to put on that month. Because with blogging, I like to see the big picture. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's all my thing. So if I miss something, it's on me. I'm not letting any doctors down or going to get kicked out of a doctor's office mm -hmm. like I have before. <laughs> We've already established We've that. We've already established yes. that. But on the weekly spreads is where I do all the personal stuff. If it's an appointment, it goes right in there. So I'm excited to have the blog layouts in the months this year. I'm a newbie, so I have to check out some of your video to see how I incorporate my budget. Yes, I have those on YouTube, um, a couple of budget videos, one specifically, and stay tuned because we're going to have a giveaway at the end here. Still got to find that. Um, what was I going to say? Here's a, um, Jamie's not as much of a sticker user, but I like to decorate, and this is, this is one of my favorite weekly layouts from... 2017 this was in November um, I just love the colors the fall colors and fall stickers and so this is one of my favorite things about the weekly spreads is getting um, creative and adding um, I like that it's functional still um, I use a lot of checklist stickers and just little like icon stickers to denote things um, but then I also like adding in some like decorative elements here as well, and like down Yay. here at the bottom. So I have some, but I have off. lots of white space still too. Lots of white <laughs> space, and I do not decorate with stickers very much. A tiny but bit. But she's gonna start more in the but new year. But I goal. did do Christmassy time, so that's okay. Meg that's asked my a question: limit. Do you make your stickers or buy them? Um, I do not make stickers. I am not that into that crafty realm. My favorite stickers, which we'll get, we'll do a fun accessory video coming in the future. Um, but my favorite stickers to use are the Happy Planner stickers, and I like the individual sheets from Erin Condren. And I don't even like to veer off any from even Erin Condren, <laughs> just because she's an Erin Condren girl. Not because I'm that devoted, because I'm that lazy. <laughs> Like, but, I, mean, I don't want to have to go to a craft store. I don't. Yes. I just, like, just give me. That's why I liked Stampin' Up. It was like, she doesn't I don't, like to go shop in mm -mm. person. She, I like mm -mm. to go shop. No, I want it delivered to my door. Yes. But so, I keep like, everything simple. Just this simple. week, Michael's had the Happy Planner sticker books 60% off. 60% off. Which That's makes the stuff them you would keep us less surprised than, They're $20 of. normally. Here, I'll show you one. This is what you're good for in the group. You keep us updated on store deals. So here, this is what I'm talking about. This is the, um, it's me and my big ideas, Create 365, the Happy Planner. Um, and it is a book, comes with this little rubber band at the bottom. Shauna's going to make stickers with her silhouette. Woohoo! Shauna. You will keep us in stock, girl. So then it comes with a bunch of sheets. Of stickers for decorating yes they are they're so cheap when they're on sale they're normally $19.99 which I've never bought one full price I usually the most I've paid is $10 for one of these but it's such a good value I mean you get so many sheets and this lasts so long your iPhone storage is full what's that mean <laughs> Does that mean we can't keep going um, so watch, just watch the deals. Um, but these are one of my favorites and the, the size of the happy planner, um, is comparable. The classic happy planner is comparable in size to the Aaron Condren planner. So the boxes and stuff that sounded like I was from Boston or something, the boxes, boxes. <laughs> are, um, they they'll fit they're a little bit bigger than the Aaron Condren boxes but um I like the Aaron Condren you overlap weekly, stuff anyway yes and on the weekly I didn't mention this before but this one somehow this week doesn't have it 
that is where I do my menu planning. So down here on the bottom, I write, I said bottom kind of funny too, didn't I? Keep going and um, do the next category because I want to find my I, giveaway. I write down what we're having for dinner. I don't keep track of um, like breakfast and lunch. A lot of people do, but there are, let's see, there's one, two, three, four. You could get five lines down here at the bottom if you needed to keep track of all every meal, but I just do dinners. Um, how do you get them for $10? The Happy Planner books. Um, Michael's has them on sale quite often for $10. Or you can use a 50% off coupon if they're not, they have to be not on sale, and which lately they've been on sale a lot because they're pushing the planners for the new year. So just watch Michael's. Um, Joann's also carries these and Hobby Lobby, but Hobby Lobby doesn't have as good of deals on the percentages off. 40% is about the best you can get off, so they're about 12 bucks with that. Um, the 60% off at Michael's this last week was the cheapest that I've seen them, um, but that's the Happy Planner books. And they've got lots of different varieties. Um, I just like them because they're very versatile. Jeff's making fun of us because we're still going. Wow. So, we're going to move on. The next section. Ooh, Helen does the same thing. Dinner's at the bottom. I like that. Next section we're going to talk about is the notes. I do this dinner at Jamie's, the bottom. This is Jamie's big area, the notes section in the back. I wish they were, I wish they were all lined personally. I mean, the dots are okay. There's like, what, four lined pages, four dotted pages, and then some coloring pages. Who is all about the coloring pages? I don't know. I might try. I mean, I kind of think they're fun, but I haven't used any of them yet. I don't know. I'm usually doing Let's other things. Let's color together somewhere. Okay. I'm usually doing other things with my planner and don't think about coloring, but... I mean, I guess it's kind of a neat idea. Can I talk about my week Helen real quick? thinks it's weird to have them in there. She does. I yes, bought... you're backtracking. I know, but can I do it real quick? <laughs> can I... Yes, go for it. Can I please talk about my week real quick? Please? Mm hmm I still can't find the giveaway. But oh, I my promise goodness. promise there's going to be one. Um, so, what I like to do in my week, just real quick, I do also the dinner down at the bottom... But I want to put little stamp forks and spoons oh, like I should. you do. I didn't show that. Mandy puts a little stamp on hers with the forks and spoons in the dinner section. Yes, and I think it's super cute. Uh, Yay, I just use so a cute. I use my Stampin' Up markers. <laughs> the ones that haven't dried out yet. <laughs> and just ink that up day at yep. the bottom. And then I just write over it. I might do them all mine. in gray. Light gray. Get it all yes. done for the whole year. I like yes. to put a Bible verse on this side <laughs> Helen right here. is still here waiting for a giveaway. She, the family's halfway home. I know. <laughs> we are getting to it. Yeah, I do a Bible verse too. I forgot to say. Oh, you about do a Bible that. verse there too? Yes. I do a monthly one and then each week I do one. I usually get this one from, I have an email subscription to She Reads Truth. Oh. And on the weekends they send Trying to reconnect. It's no, it's reconnecting. Okay, we're back. We're back. Sorry, guys. I keep getting booted. But um, the She Reads Truth on the weekends, they send out like um, two different verses on Saturday and Sunday. And so I usually pick one of those to focus on for the week, and I write that here. I like having as much scripture around me as possible. So I love it. Um, so, yep, Bible. And then my three segments, I do um, appointments, places we need to be, so I don't get kicked out of doctors anymore. The middle is supposed to be my health and wellness. It's going, as you okay. can tell, it's blank. So um, we're going to get on <laughs> my fitness pal. I'm going to get on my fitness pal with um, my with my allergy group, and I'm going to start tracking stuff again. And then the bottom is my blogging for each day. I have a post, and if I put it on Facebook, interest. Interest or Pinstagram. Pinstagram? Mm hmm. All right. And we're that's moving. it. Yep. We're moving, moving on. on. Notes pages. Notes pages. Okay. So I did not use these very much at first when I first got it. I've just started recently it's using the best them part. more. It's the best part. So one of my goals 
every year is to read more and I usually end up reading like six books a year but that's something so I have one page in my back I did a reading list page and I since this calendar has 17 and 18 in it I have two columns the first one I made, I just used my handy dandy ruler again to draw the lines and That's write really everything in. That's really fancy stuff you did there. So I just, I used the dots as a guide um, for my grid. But I wrote the books that I read and then what year I read them in and then I have room for 18 to write those books. And on this side, I have meal ideas. So I broke them down by category. I used my ruler again, but I used pencil for this one so I can change them out. Um, I'm just newly lactose and learning that I'm lactose intolerant, so um, at least I think that's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's you're working. allergic to me. It's working so far, so um, some of these might have, you know, might change or whatever, but as I'm learning what is better for me to eat and stuff. Um, so I've broken them down by section, um, and then... I can look at this when I'm planning my meals for the week and get ideas. Sometimes I get in a rut and um, I'm like, I don't know what to make or I make the same thing every week. And so this is a handy little reference that I like to keep in here as well. And then just some other things are like lists of shirt ideas for shirts I'm making on Amazon books I want to read or Bible studies I want to do um, and then since this only goes through June um, I also keep a list of 2018 events that are past June that I need to put into my new planner once I get that in July so because the yearly look ahead in the back is 2019 mm -hmm. so that doesn't do me any good <laughs> right are you going now. to keep doing june to june june are you going to keep doing that i don't know you don't know yet we'll see all right i love the blank pages in the back i'm a control freak and so what my favorite draw to having an erin condren planner is that i can customize it to what i want it to um, what I want to track in my planner and a lot again with me is budget So I'm gonna do my pages real quick. I set them up last night again. It only took me 30 minutes because I know what I like to do now after having three Erin Condren planners so um, My first page is our 2018 budget and I put little labels from the free labels in the planner um, these are going to be our monthly expenses, and then these are going to be our insurance and tax information. Um, I won't get into all that. It's super boring, but um, insurance and tax, I pay with our extra checks, the two checks from the year. And then a medical. I tried to do, like, medical savings card one year, and it was a disaster. They kept asking me for proof, and I told I quit. So now I just save my own medical money. And so I'm saving this whole page for keeping track of our medical savings and spending. Um, we have food allergies, so we have lots of testing and stuff like that. And then my next section is more budget. And again, it's gonna be customized to you, so me telling you everything I do is probably not gonna be very useful. But um, and we have a page for kind of our extra, which is my working, and Jeff gets bonuses every once in a while, so that's kind of our extra. And then our spending with extra. So what do we do? What spending do we do because we made extra money? Like the first set of pages were like the critical pages. We have to pay our bills and medical expenses. And then the next set was kind of the extra fun stuff that we can do. Um, and I actually put the little tabs at the top. So I like to tab. And last year I just did cheap um, post-it flags like this yes like uh -huh. you mandy she <laughs> posted well what? because mine was last year still too yes but i just have one just to kind of i mean i know there's a notes tab down here but sometimes i find it's it easier nice. to yeah. get from the top so i did mine with like it just says budget extras and then i have a third section i don't know if i figured it out yet I haven't, Mandy. The dotted pages I mm. haven't figured out. So the first two layouts, I'm doing budget. You can the first draw one, lines. You can always draw lines. Another thing that I've done before is let the kids draw something. So mm. like have a picture that your kids have. A 
that's fun for the memory keeping too. Or if you want to print pictures and stuff yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it can be a little memory keeping. So both of my dotted pages I don't have figured out yet. Um, but like I said in my videos before, like I will figure something out. Um, but the budget's the main thing for me. So is that it on those? Yep. Okay. And then, yep. were you going to say something else? I was going to say, it probably will be something like memory keeping or for my kids. Cause I used a lot of pages on budget on my last planner and I basically figured out how to use it better and condensed it to those four pages. So that's good. I think mm -hmm. I used like six or eight last year. So the more right. you use it, the better you get. So if some of you are thinking, you know, you kind of quit because you didn't do it perfect, just keep doing it. Like mm -hmm. things get better with time and yeah, practice. Yeah, you learn. You Even do. from the start in July, I mean, there's been things that I've changed and improved on and ways to use things better. Yes. So um, next on our list is the look ahead pages, I guess. Yes. These are 2019, which... I, it's too early for 2019, so I don't. I have, think you should schedule all your vacations. I don't have on anything there. in here yet. I'm sure in the next few months, I will have something. Um, did I say layout, or did Jamie say? I, you I, are I say a layout. At heart. Yes, yeah, I am. <laughs> um, so yes, I will have stuff on these before long, probably. But right now, I don't have anything planned out that far. So, but you do. Uh, yeah, I just, I mean... You're going to buy a car in 2019. That is what I want to do. <laughs> My 2003 Civic is getting shabby. <laughs> So yeah, um, I just put some goals for 2019, whereas the front was my goals for 2018. Mm -hmm. So I used the bottom to be like some goals. And then I just put down some different um, vacation things that we want to do um, and, and what months we want to do to them. I think it's to have the dates out here because sometimes I like to look ahead and reference like, you know, dates or what day of the week that's going to be on yeah. or whatever. And, and it's then cool they gave us blank it, spots yeah, on the Yeah, when it gets there... Closer, you know, I can write things under the months and whatnot. Do you know that in the old planner they didn't have the blanks under I the dates? I heard that dates? was a new thing. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. new. So that's awesome that we have. Um, somebody said, I'm still here. <laughs> Yay, well, yes. our given it is coming oh, up, right? Jamie, you said layout, but I'm sure I have too. But See, yes. it is a layout. It's two pages next to each other. That's a yes. layout, right? All right. Stickers. Have we talked about all the inspiration pages that are throughout? These are just Did. fun. Oh, yes. These are fun, mm -hmm. especially for photography and yes. stuff like that. And then there are stickers. Yay. I don't know if you have browsed through your new book yet and noticed there are four sheets of stickers. Some of them, let's see, one page has ones with words on them. There's like birthdays to do, celebrate, reminders. And pretty metallic. And icon items. And then there's several that are just blank. As you can see, I haven't used these very much. I need to use these more. You need to use them. Don't I kind be scared of forget. To. This page is still intact. I forget that they're in here, I think. Maybe I need to tear them out. But Ooh, that's an idea. So don't forget that there are stickers in the back. And like don't Jamie, be afraid to use them. Like because, Jamie mentioned before, yeah. you could even use some of these um, plain ones, these or these, and write your month on it and stick those at the monthly mm -hmm. pages at the beginning of each month or I use would them for challenge people to actually whatever. use them and not yes. save them because mm -hmm. you will end up like me with three years of them yeah. if you <laughs> are a hoarder. So I'm using them, girls. Yes. Use Recklessly. those stickers. Yay, All stickers. Right, next. All right, pocket. Pockets. Is it pockets? I think so. Okay. Pocket. There is a pocket. The last thing in your planner is a pocket. I use this pocket to keep some extra stickers in here. Me too. I've got some loose Erin Condren sheets. These are one of my favorites. I can get two to three layouts usually if I use these sparingly and cut them apart. I don't hardly ever use a whole sticker. I like You're to cut frugal. them. Yes. These are too wide. I cut them down the middle. Cut them like this. Cut them into banners. Somebody's from Canada and so excited to be here. I'm so excited. Yay, Yay. Thank you for that nice note. Yes. You're afraid to use them. Don't be afraid to use no. them. If you use them all, you'll just have to buy more. Yes. That's Break my new them theory. Out. 
Use them. Or you're going to be one out, of the people at the end out. of the year that goes, I just didn't use my planner the way I thought I would. Yes. So I have a sticky note on here. There's a, um, a site that I came across recently that has free planner printables. And so I have my password and the planner website on here just so I don't forget. I did a layout. Some of you may have seen it on the Facebook page where I use, I think I've used two sets of mm. free printables for in December. I don't um, do Just that something stuff. different and fun. I thought I would try it out. Um, That's too fancy for me. And then, so you keep stickers in yours too. I keep stickers, stickers in mine, and I label my pockets because I'll show you guys later that I add extra pockets. And I've been experimenting on how much room I have, so mm. I label labels. I, I labeled labels. I don't give my son any more stickers because he's a hoarder. <laughs> 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 that is so funny. Oh, bye, Shauna. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Here. All right. And then the back pocket is a it's shallow kind of pocket. A short pocket. It's a double pocket. I just, I don't really keep much in there. I've got like a list of. Uh, Some people struggle because it's shallow. So yeah. you, just you keep can't really little... keep anything too heavy in there, but I've got like a, a local place um, that has some like hours of their store that I reference sometimes in here. Um, but Just a nice little sheet of paper. Mine yeah. is the perpetual calendar. Mm. My new thing this year is to not snap it in with a coil clip. Yeah. Which some people, I've, I've done that before. I just keep mine in my crafty space, um, which that's the next thing on our list. Okay. The perpetual calendar comes with your planner. You get a little clear planner pouch with some stickers and cards, and you get this perpetual calendar in it. And... I don't use it in any fancy way. I just put um, birthdays and anniversaries inside. So then I can reference and holidays that don't change. I mean, I usually know what they are anyway, but just something else to write down in pretty colors. You get um, a per I've gotten a perpetual calendar the last three years. Mm -hmm. So once you write down all the dates, it's pretty much like what else do I need one for? Yes. So some other ideas on how to use these, you can use them as like a prayer journal if you want. There's like, mm. it lists out mm -hmm. the number for each day of the month. It's by month and then the days. Um, I am going to use mine, I, you would maybe use this too, as a diet journal. Oh. Um, because I'm right trying to figure out what day. makes me feel sick mm -hmm. all the time with my unknown mm -hmm. allergies. And so they keep like, make a food journal, make a food mm -hmm. journal. So I think that this I would be do. good for a food <laughs> journal too. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of, think outside the box if you don't really care to write down birthdays or Will anniversaries. These steps be written out somewhere after the live feed. Yeah, we are Just going to Just wait a have, few minutes and we'll let you know. Yeah, we will have a little bonus for you guys. So, we went through the whole planner, right? Yes, we did. The Whew. whole planner. Our husbands can't believe we're about, still talking about planners. We can talk about planners forever. It's only been an hour and a half. Come on, girls. All right, so what should we talk about now? Should we talk about our big surprise? Should we let the girls enter for our, should we show them the giveaway? What should we do next? Do you have it? I'm going to do something different because okay. I lost my giveaway. Okay. So I have new ideas. Jamie needs to write down where the giveaway was in her planner and she didn't do that. <laughs> but I don't want to yeah. I don't want to promise it if I don't have it. So mm -hmm. I had to pull out some other goodies because I do have quite a stash. Oh, so. that's a good idea. Judah said she'd give her perpetual calendar to her little boy. Oh, yeah. So it'll be a little notebook or something. Yeah. That's a good idea. The other thing I thought of was you could use it as a thankful journal. Each day you could write a thankful thought in your perpetual calendar. That's a really good idea, yeah. Mandy. I like that a lot. Did I say a prayer journal already? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we are going to tell you guys, it was important to us running this Facebook page that <clears throat> a lot of you were asking how to keep using your planners. We didn't want you to go buy your planners and not use them. We definitely have a track record where we have been using them and they have been streamlining our lives and making things better for us. And um, so what we wanted to do because of all the feedback of, I don't use my planner after I buy it. We hate to hear that, don't mm -hmm. we? It makes mm -hmm. me really sad. Yes. <laughs> so we wanted to do this um, 12 steps for setting up your planner so that you would right out of the gate, right here in the new year, be able to use your planner 
every single page effectively and to get the most use out of this tool that you have bought. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to share all those other crafts and things that we've done. This is probably the most affordable hobby we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Like I, mean, I used to really, spend like $50 a month at yeah. Stamp Club and Scrap Club. Because really once you buy the planner and figure out like a good, I mean, what you like and good don't pen like. or pencil mm -hmm. or whatever, you don't really need. Yeah anything other than stickers so I know sometimes we feel guilty about buying the planner but if mm -hmm. you are doing it as like um, you know something special to have not only to be practical but something special and a hobby a keepsake which mm -hmm. I actually want to talk about here mm -hmm. real quick um, it is a very very affordable hobby so I just want to share really quickly it's gonna be I actually was thinking about this today I didn't tell you I was gonna share it but I'm like oh, it might make me cry but um, I was just thinking while we were thinking about this video was how important it is for me to keep my planner because, and the thing that drives me to keep using it um, every day and it goes through my head like at least a couple times a week is my sister passed away a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And while I was driving in the car thinking of this video, I was like, this is really, when I was thinking of the different steps and saying that it is a keepsake, it says what I do each day. It says if I go out to lunch with a friend, it marks down different appointments that we have, it marks down things I do with my kids, and passed away, and I had to go through her apartment and her paperwork, and it was, there was nothing that just kind of, she lived states away from us, and it was a, it was a tragedy, we did not know that this was going to happen, and I didn't have anything tangible that was like a document of what she was doing in Texas every day and who she was spending her time with. And when I went to go visit her office, I didn't know what girls there were her close friends and which ones she didn't hang out. We've been on. Oh, okay. I broke the internet. <laughs> My story was so sad no. that the internet broke. We're so back, anyways, so anyways, what I would have given to just see one thing to show my sister's mm -hmm. life and who she spent her time with and what she did in her time. I mean, we texted and we emailed a lot, but um, it really is. I just like, that is, this is a keepsake. Like, I just think to myself, if I just, something happened to me and I was gone, Jeff could pick out this pe this tool and know what our budget is. Mm -hmm. We do talk about it, but <laughs> he would know what my budget was. My kids would have it later and know what we did through the days and through the weeks and mm -hmm. through the months. And um, it just really documents what we're doing with our lives. If we aren't keeping a scrapbook or something like that, and we're at least just writing down what we're doing, that would have been so special to mm -hmm. me. I basically had to be like... Um, like a detective trying, trying to guess. figure out yeah. my sister. And I would have, everything I figured out of who she was with and where she went um, was like connecting to her in a little way. And I just couldn't imagine having something like this. So I just wanted to share that because I think that sometimes we get hung up. It motivates me to use it because mm -hmm. I'm thinking somebody might look at this someday, just like our scrapbooks. Mm -hmm. And um, this really could be a really special thing to somebody someday. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that because it was on my heart today when I was thinking about doing this with you guys. So just thinking of it as a practical tool, but also a very special tool yes. too. And so I do, I keep, mine, I keep mine, I keep mine all thanks guys. I keep my old one up there in a little bird cage. <laughs> I didn't think of any other use for that bird cage. And so I plan on putting my second one in the bird cage and then I'll, you know, I'll have them and people will know right where they're at. So Mandy, if something happens to me. I know where the Look planners in the planners. are. Mm -hmm. Just tell everybody everything I've ever done. <laughs>